Hello there, I'm Mark Sebastian, the founder of OptionPit.com, and this is the Option Pit Stock Market and Option Volatility Report Reminder. This is for education purposes only. Shouldn't be considered investment advice. Options carry risk. Well, we still there's still time to register for our Pro Summit. It's coming up in June in Chicago. It's going to be awesome. Get your butts here. Uh, you will not regret it. You will learn a bunch, and you'll have fun. So get to it. Go to optionpit.com and then click on our big pant banner right here that says be there or be square written by possibly the squarest person ever. I'm kidding. No, I kid. That person is not square. Um, speaking of square, you're looking at the VIX and saying, you know, for us only being down one point, why is the VIX up so much? So this is, uh, you know, when we have a three-day weekend, you really get a good view of what the weekend effect looks like. The weekend effect, it kind of relates to how, um, you know, we have options decay constantly, but we are only open five days a week. So that weekend effect causes the VIX to kind of lose more toward the end of the week and, get, and tend to be lower on Thursdays and Fridays and then be up on Mondays um, because of the weekend and things being closed. So that is kind of what you're looking at here today. Uh, you're seeing a similar weekend effect in the spike index. You can see those two. It's been interesting watching the two of them. They track very well. Uh, so just goes to show you the volatility as calculated seems to be a, seems to be, to be done right. Um, the SPX is flattish. You know, we had a, flat week last week people are like boy look at look you know why is volatility so low well take a look at the last take a look at a, a, a 10 day chart of the spx all right the there's like no range the low is 20 uh, in the last 10 days is 28.91 the high is 29.14 so over a 10 day period we've we've got a call it a 23 point range. That is not volatility, right? That is the opposite of volatility. And then what I wanna show you then, I'm gonna go to one month chart now. Look at the realized volatility of the SPX. It's down to five. All right, it is down to five. You know, if we go to a, 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 a chart, you'll notice that five is the lowest number on this chart. So movement is at the absolute low that we tend to see. Which is why it's kind of surprising the VIX is over 13. The VIX looks like a fade. VVIX is 88%. That is really high. 87%, excuse me. That is really high. I'm not sure why. But volatility is bid despite there not actually being any volatility. All right, so what's driving things today? Take a look at oil. Um, the U.S. is going to choke off the balance of a million barrels a day coming from Iran that is driving oil up. That is moving all the oil names higher. XLE looks strong. You know, all the oil names, Exxon Mobil, Chevron Texaco, they all, oh, I don't think it's called Chevron Texaco anymore. It's just Chevron Corp. I don't know. I like the name Texaco. Um, so you've got lots of strength in the market on these oil names. Uh, that is what is kind of holding the SPX up because, you know, look at the NDX. It's not really... Let me add that NDX here. You know, it's not particularly strong today. It's soft. Um, the Russell, which has been, you know, they should stop calling it an index and start calling it a poop dex because that's how bad the Russell has been. All right. And then obviously the Dow, um, you know, kind of the least important, and from a trading aspect, the, the Dow is the least important, not really doing that much. But, you know, the, the SPX is really being held up by oil names. 
And that is what is driving things. Financials look a little softer this morning. Um, tech, a touch softer, but oil really strong. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is XLV. This whole, this whole um, Medicare for all thing. You know how stupid it is to sell sell these on that Medicare for all. All right, so let's think about the last time we had institutionalized government type uh, of healthcare. Oh, it was Obamacare. And if you had to name a group of entities that benefited most from Obamacare, who would you say? And if your answer is anything but, but the insurance companies, then your, your answer is incorrect. The insurance companies did great. You don't think the insurance companies are gonna get their, their hands in on this? Yeah, the, the, no, you're not. The insurance companies, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So insurance companies are making a blasted killing. If we go Medicare for all, it's gonna look more like Medicare part A, it'll be some supplemented thing, and the insurance companies are gonna clean up. So just be aware. So that is why um, I'm gonna be looking at some longer term bull XLV trades. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great morning and a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.